So let's do a speed comparison between the Yola C and the new flagship SaferShares device, uh, Sony Xperia X. Uh, so first of all, let's go into the uh, benchmarks of those two devices. So as you can see here, Antutu benchmark, you can see 19,645 points on the Yola C and it's, I think, beating the hell, the crap out of the Yola C. This no, new flagship SaferShares device, Sony Xperia X with uh, 43,740 points in the Antutu benchmark. So let's uh, minimize those applications. Oops. Let's minimize those two applications. And let's start with the comparison by uh, running applications, some applications, and uh, look at the startup time. First of all, the browser, of course. One, two, three. As you can see here, a lot faster on the Xperia X device and uh, it's closing the browser interesting let's start it again maybe there's a wrong website that it tries to load it's trying to load a youtube video in this case but as you can see the browser starts up a lot faster on the xperia x um, let's minimize this again uh, the next thing that we want to start is uh, the email application where do i have the email application here there one two three as you can see here, a lot quicker on the Yola C, uh, on the Xperia X, and a lot uh, slower on the Yola C again. The next thing that we're going to start is the media playing application. One, two, three. And again, startup time quicker, but as you can see here, it takes a while to load all the media files from the SD card on my Yola C. I uh, don't have an SD card, so I only have seven uh, music clips in here, so it's a lot quicker in recognizing them. Then you can see the difference, of course, that the Yola C has FM radio support, so I can uh, just plug in my headphones and listen to a normal radio here. And this is missing from uh, this version, at least, of the Xperia X uh, device still. So the next thing that we want to start is an Android application because of course you can also run Android applications, certain Android applications. Let's start the F-Droid store and see how fast they will launch. And again, as you can see here, almost native speed uh, in comparison to the native applications on the Xperia X and it takes a while um, on the Yola C. The next application we want to test is the recorder application. One, two, three. Simple audio recording application. Again, uh, this time I think uh, the URC was a lot closer to the Xperia X. And the next application is the calculator. One, two, three. And again, I think this was uh, on par, the URC with the Xperia X when it comes to the calculator. Then let's start the next application. Of course, you want to listen to podcasts as well. Gpodder. A lot quicker here, as you can see. And it takes a while to load the uh, podcasts here on the Yola C, as you can see the different feeds. Um, the next application is my video player. So LL's video player, one, two, three. And I think, again, a little bit quicker here on the Xperia X. No wonder, because it has simply the fastest Snapdragon uh, 650 against the Snapdragon 212. So this is, I think, no comparison <laughs> that needs to be done here. Uh, let's go and start QuickDid, a Reddit client. And again, a lot faster on the Xperia X device, though, as you can as you saw, the image is load, loaded faster on the Yola C in comparison to the Xperia X device, interestingly. And uh, then uh, let's start the next application, Series Finally, or, a, or Series Final. And as you can see, a lot quicker again on the Xperia X device. Um, what can we start next? The camera application, of course. Which camera application is faster? I think you guess it, you know it. It's, of course, the Xperia X camera application, which launches faster. Then let's 
launch the next application. Let's launch a game. Um, where do I have games here? I think on the bottom somewhere. Scroll through the games here are games and here are the other games. Uh, let's launch a native game, Hebo first. As you can see the Xperia X slightly faster here again. And let's launch another native game. I'm only launching my favorite games here right now, uh, which is Hebo and Hippopotamus, which is a nice game. Uh, And I'm winning already. This is the, the best. The farting sound in this game when you lose a life is uh, glorious. So let's start uh, another native game uh, which is quite addicted, addicting, which is uh, Pokefish. And you will see a problem on the Xperia X. It will launch faster, but you see that the scaling is a little bit off on this full HD display, and especially if you start the game itself you can see that the scaling is a little bit off but uh, nevertheless a very addictive game then let's start of course what's also important for us hackers is the terminal application so let's see where do I find the terminal application here and here one two three and again as you can see here a lot quicker on the, the Xperia X device and a little bit slower on the uh, Yola C. So what can we do and start um, and try to start again especially if you have so many applications open is Android applications and we see that the Xperia X has the advantage of 3 gigabytes of RAM instead of only 2 gigabytes of RAM on the Yola C. So when I start, for example, some streaming applications, uh, what do we have here? CineTrader, for example, it's an Android application. First of all, you will see that the, oops, the performance was quicker on the LSC, interestingly. It's still loading here. So we'll see a very interesting, echo. it's loading the ad. That might be the problem here. So this was quicker on the LSC, interestingly. Enough. Then we have uh, what can we start again? I think Amazon Music. This loads quicker on the Xperia X as expected. It takes a while on the Yola C as you can see here. And it then loads uh, up nicely. Then the Next application that we want to start is a native application, Ceylon Jamendo, which is a Jamendo client, a native one for Safish OS, and again a lot quicker here on the Xperia X device. Then next and the last application, of course, is a map application, a maps application. I will start the native one here which is called Poor Maps. It's a very nice one. And again, a lot quicker on the Xperia X uh, device. And yeah, so we have now pretty much very, very much, as you can see here, opened very much applications. Now let's go and see if the multitasking works or if it closed some applications down. Uh, let's go in, in a random order here, as you can see here. So I am not able to bring the Yola C down um, with these mini applications. It's still running in the background, as you can see here. Oh, what's going on? It was not reloading, but uh, my touch input was not working correctly. No reloading here. I think we will get a reloading on the F-Droid store. Nope, no reloading here. Uh, recording stuff working as well. So the multitasking is pretty strong, as you can see here. Even the camera application is loaded. 
So I'm not able, even with so many applications open, to bring down the LSC in terms of memory usage. So both have the ability to keep up many applications open, as you can see here. So I think this is everything for this little comparison, speed comparison between the Yola C and the uh, Sony Xperia X, uh, both running Selfish OS, uh, both the latest version for their specific devices. So the Xperia X has a slightly newer version than the uh, Yola C, but overall uh, the uh, overall uh, framework they're based on is uh, the same when it comes to application versions and, and uh, so on. So, thanks for watching and until the next time. Let's try to close them all together and see which one is faster in closing. Ooh, they're almost the same when it comes to closing all applications. Nice.